Hey everyone, I uh, wanted to make a quick video on how to launch a portfolio using GitHub Pages, a web portfolio, your custom site, it's on your uh, local host, it's on your computer, and you wanna get it live on the internet. And this is one of many deployment options, it's free, there's many others uh, that are similar like it, but I will notice uh, note that this is for static pages. Uh, this to the best of my knowledge, uh, can be modified and uh, maybe work with other technology. But we're talking about static HTML, CSS, and some JavaScript. Uh, at Rankin, this is a good first semester uh, solution for deploying your web portfolio. Uh, and, and so you can kind of follow these instructions. I'm going to do that. Um, you're gonna need a GitHub account. Um, that's a prerequisite and you need to create a new repository with your username dot github dot io so you know very specific here it's your username dot github dot io and so if i go over to my github uh, i will need to create a new repository and it needs to be my username now my username as you can see here uh, is simply my first and last name together um, if you go to your profile, maybe your account settings, uh, you might be able to see it somewhere else. There's your, there is your username. Um, I believe for other people, this might be something different for mine. I think it's the public visible, um, name and your private name. I think it needs to be your publicly visible name, which would be the first one here. For me, it's both the same. So. Um, mine will be evangudmstead.github.io. So again, back to create a new repository. In this case, I am the owner. I don't think you'll have that drop-down box, um, but I will say uh, evangudmstead.github.io, public or private, and um, I'll make it public for now. Git ignore is none for now, license is none for now, so I will create this repository. And how I'm choosing to deploy it, again, you can use many different tools for cloning a repository. You could use, of course, the, the command line, git bash. GitHub Desktop is the most intuitive for most people, so you can clone this in GitHub Desktop. You can click this setup and desktop button. All that really does is opens up GitHub Desktop. So download GitHub Desktop, log into GitHub Desktop, and then you'll clone it. And so if you click this button, let's quit anyways. Let's set up in desktop. See, for me, it opens up a different tool that I have, Tortoise Git. So I'm not able to set it up in desktop because my Windows defaults aren't defaulting to GitHub Desktop. So I, I will go through this process of opening it this way. All we're gonna do is clone it, right? Um, so I'm gonna say clone a repository. I'm gonna choose the URL tab. I'm gonna paste in my .git URL from GitHub and choose where do I want it. So this is gonna go onto my desktop, Evan Gudmstead, GitHub IO. That's fine for now. I'll clone and click on clone. And um, there we have it. Now, what I really need to do is I need to um, commit and push some changes. And so let's do that. So, um, you know, the next thing is, well, you need the, the website. And so what website am I going to use? If I pull this over, um, this is just a folder um, with a, a template. Now, this template, I downloaded this free online. This is a bootstrap site. Um, you know, obviously this is not any sort of real portfolio for me, but I, I can use this static HTML file um, uh, to deploy to GitHub. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy everything. Mm, I don't know about Git attributes. I might take that out. I might not. Yeah, 
I don't think that's going to make a big difference. So I'm just going to copy my index and my assets, copy, into my desktop. And here's my uh, cloned repository. Let me paste that in. And if I launch this locally, again, you can kind of see now this is on my local folder. And uh, I just copied it from one location on my hard drive to another location on my hard drive. And GitHub Desktop should recognize all of these changes. And so I'll say, I'll say the initial commit. Then you have to publish it since it's the first time which will do a push. And now if I go back to my repository here, sometimes I have to refresh a couple times. Okay, uh, one refresh, you can see the index has been pushed, the assets have been pushed. And so, kind of already used my GitHub desktop, already created my index file, I did my commit and publish and you're done. Now it should be available at my username. Obviously I have to change my username to .github.io and voila. Okay, um, main mistake that I tend to see people make uh, is that notice that the root of the folder contains my index.html. Uh, beginner mistake here is to copy the entire folder in and not put the index in the root. So notice this is the root of my repository. And if I go uh, to, my, to my GitHub repository, the index file is in the root. Whereas I see a lot of beginners copying the whole folder with the index in it and the assets in it. You copy the whole folder into the root. Um, that's the main mistake. I've seen it a hundred times. You don't copy the folder itself. Instead, you copy all the files and subfolders that are in the folder uh, that contains your website uh, documents, if you will. So don't copy the whole folder. Copy all the sub documents. And, you know, for example, you know, index is going to be found in the root here. You're not going to find an, a folder here that's called my website um, because that doesn't work. And that's how you use GitHub Desktop.